In this episode, I want to talk about bodybuilding. When churchgoers find out that I don't go to an institutional church anymore, they sometimes ask me how I get spiritually fed. Quite frankly, that question always catches me off guard. If someone told me they wanted to stop eating at restaurants all the time, I wouldn't ask them, so how are you going to get dinner? The idea that those of us who fellowship outside of a church program can't get spiritually fed is a complete myth. The real question is, if your church is too big to fit in a living room, how do you ever get to exercise your calling as a priest during your services? 1 Corinthians 14.26 says, Whenever you get together, meaning every time you gather as a church, meaning even in your Sunday morning service, each one of you has a hymn or a word of instruction, a revelation, a tongue, or an interpretation, and that all of these must be done so that the body of Christ, which is the church, may be built up. The church body gets built up the same way your own body gets built up. Exercise. Whenever you, who are a part of the body of Christ, exercise your calling as a priest, a part of the body is getting built up. So obviously, the more parts that exercise, the more bodybuilding there is going on. It's very easy to see how the worship pastor, senior pastor, or anyone else on the platform get to exercise their calling every week, but the Bible says the church is supposed to be a priesthood of all believers. Now, I'm sure that someone will be quick to point out that the same passage that talks about each one of us having a hymn or a teaching and so on goes on to say that, if there is speaking in tongues, no more than three people should speak, and only one at a time. The same goes for prophets. Only two or three should speak, while others listen, etc. Big churches seem to think they're following the instructions in this passage whenever they get a bunch of people together and have them quietly watch and listen to a few people on a platform do all the worship leading and teaching, etc. But these verses are simply talking about maintaining order in a church meeting, not having everyone talk at the same time, and not making the meeting drag on and on by repeating the same thing over and over. At no point does the New Testament advocate electing a designated worship leader to lead all the hymns, or a designated teacher to teach all the lessons, and so on. Allowing only the same few people to exercise their calling as priests every single week is akin to working out only one part of your body all the time and letting the rest of it waste away. That's not building up the body of Christ. That's deforming it. If you like this video, please check out the rest of my blog at churchanarchist.com. There you'll find other videos, cartoons, blog posts, and a lot more. Or if you prefer to simply watch my videos on YouTube, please subscribe to this channel. Thank you for watching.